Michael Schumacher is acknowledged to be one of the best Formula One drivers of all time, but the racing legend suffered a devastating accident just after announcing his retirement from the sport. What happened to Formula One legend Michael Schumacher and how is he doing now? Stay tuned and let's find out by the end of this video. But before we tune in, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates and videos like this one. Since suffering a catastrophic brain injury while skiing in 2013, the life of Formula One legend Michael Schumacher has been kept under wraps. However, in a new Netflix documentary analyzing his historic career, his family is breaking their eight-year quiet on the status of the seven-time world champion. What happened to the F1 legend Michael Schumacher? He was skiing with his son Mick, who was 14 at the time, when they were involved in a catastrophic ski accident in the French Alps on December 29, 2013. Despite wearing a ski helmet, he fell and banged his head on a rock while crossing an off-piece section, sustaining a significant head injury. The world champion was taken to Grenoble Hospital. Doctors stated that he would have died if he hadn't been wearing the protective gear. Schumacher endured two procedures right away. He was placed in a medically induced coma after sustaining a traumatic brain injury. By June 2014, Michael had been taken out of his coma and was freed to rehabilitate in his home. Despite the enormous attention from fans and the press, information on his treatment and condition has been intermittent since then. According to The Telegraph, the F1 star was paralyzed and in a wheelchair in 2014. His terrible ski accident occurred just over a year after announcing his retirement from Formula One in 2012. After retiring from racing in 2006, he made a brief three-season comeback with the new Mercedes team. After Mercedes took over the world championship winning Braun GP outfit after 2009, the German rejoined his old team manager Ross Braun, the eventual world champ teammate Nico Rosberg from 2010 to 2012. The 91-time Grand Prix champion didn't succeed in his three-year comeback with only one podium finish. Still, he showed flashes of his past brilliance. Despite his lack of success, Schumacher is credited with laying the framework for the squad that has dominated the sport ever since, led by Lewis Hamilton. His adored family is now sharing an insight into the star's battle in a new documentary. How is Michael Schumacher doing these days? Schumacher's current health and condition are highly protected by his family and manager. Still, they have finally spoken out about the disaster in the Netflix documentary. Some detail of the racing legend's life have been public in the seven years following his crash. But Schumacher, the documentary, looks further than ever before into his life. It includes interviews with Michael's close family members, including his father Rolf and brother Ralph, and his devoted wife Karina, and their two children, Gina and Mick. It also has interviews with racing legends, including Jean Tote, Bernie Ecclestone, Sebastian Vettel, Mika Hakkinen, Damon Hill, Flavio Briator, and David Coulthard. Michael's wife Karina reportedly listed their Lake Geneva home for sale in April 2021 for five million pounds. Bodyguards and domestic employees stayed at the house until recently, while horses grazed the grounds only a few months ago. The couple paid three million pounds for the Sur Les Moulins estate in 2002, just as Michael was about to win his fifth F1 world title. On August 20th, 2021, F1 boss Bernie Ecclestone made the encouraging remark that Michael may one day be able to answer the questions himself. Bernie stated, He is not with us at the moment, but when he gets better, he'll answer all the questions. In September 2021, it was disclosed ahead of the release of Schumacher that Michael expressed concerns about the snow conditions in the Alps before his tragedy occurred. Shortly before it happened in Marybell, he mentioned to me, The snow isn't optimal. His wife Karina recounted, breaking her somber eight years silence, we could take a flight to Dubai and go skydiving there. She stated that because he always made it through his races safely, she was confident he had a few guardian angels keeping an eye out for him. The 52-year-old said of his condition, everybody misses Michael, but Michael is here. Different, but here. He still shows how strong he is every day. But where is Michael Schumacher now? The following year, after spending a year in the hospital, he was discharged and returned to his hometown of Lake Geneva, where he has resided ever since while undergoing further rehabilitation. His wife Karina explained in the Netflix interview, We're together. We live together at home. We do therapy. We do everything we can to make Michael better and to make sure he's comfortable, and to make him feel our family, our bond, and no matter what, I will do everything I can. We all will. So what can you say about the F1 great Michael Schumacher's journey after the accident? Let me know your thoughts and comment down below. Before this video ends, please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more updates and videos like this one.